Today's video is going to be how to make one of these on your 3D printer where you can, <coughs> an LED matrix and you build an enclosure. This is very easy to wire. This was one of my first projects really for wiring up. I'm using a, it's called a D1 Mini. It's an ESP32 D1 Mini. I printed out a small enclosure which it fits into, fixed into here. And then all, all the soldering there is, is these three wires. And then that way you can connect this and this ESP32 board will communicate here. So you can just log in on any device using the IP address that's on the board. And then that way you can mess with any of these settings. So if I go down to effects, I can just choose whichever I want. Solid will make it all a solid color. You can change the brightness you know as much as you want there's little graphics and stuff and other just fun little things there's plenty to go through and as well you can connect as many of these balls as you want together so if i wanted i can just connect this board into that one and it would just carry on and it's actually really simple to do so first of all i'm just going to show the 3d print these two print on the printer standing up like this so there's no supports needed um this the top of this because this was somebody else's print this was um atrix was where i got this original box from and then i modified the top of the box this uh, grid to accept some like a piece of acrylic so all i basically did was put a little shelf so it could slot in there and not come out and actually that's handy because you can put these together as one before you start and i'll just quickly show it does actually make a big difference if i plug this in quickly and i slide half of this off you should be able to see quite a difference there in the diffusion so yeah that's why i did originally just you know print it normally and then I, I reprinted these tops. It diffuses it a nice amount. As well, it's kind of softer on your eye because when the brightness is up and this is pulled back, that's very bright. But I will share the files below. This one from Atrix and my modified top. Well, I'll share the whole file from Atrix in case you don't want the modified top on it. And then I'll share my one as well with the modified top. And then I'll get a closer up view of this so I can show what pins. Five volt, the ground, and then the data line comes to this pin. And then, yeah, that just clips straight in. And that's it. This little board, the little board here is about $6. And for this, these are the only three pins you need. And then all you have to do is just program it on the computer by plugging it in. To fix these screws in, all I did was heat up the end of an Allen wrench, which was about the same size as the screw, and then just make a hole in there with that Allen wrench and then screw these right into the hole. But yeah, I just wanted to show close up so you can see there, five volt ground data line. But they're not in that order on the plug. You can see the data line's the one in the center. And then the ground is on the white on this side. Five volts of red. Okay, and then all I did was just got a pair of cutters. I used this type, wire strippers. And just stripped off a tiny amount off the end, maybe like a millimeter or so. You can see there. And then making sure this was up the right way. I just poked it through and you can see it just poking through there then all you have to do is just solder this little tip so you just dip a little you know drop a little bit of solder on there it's very simple it's just soldering them free and this stuff it basically holds in there that's it just solder the one two three on there so once you have it all wired up you're going to come in come onto the computer 
and type in install W L E D and then you'll see this WLED.me click that one and then plug in your device and click install and it will take you through the procedure of installing it if you plug in the device and it don't you know it's not recognizing it just check out up here and it will run you through how to add a driver so once you installed it it's going to give you an IP address um, okay so once it's downloaded you're going to come up to a screen like this you want to click config and go to Wi-Fi setup and add the name of your Wi-Fi and then your password this is the IP address so I'm just going to go over that I'm going to press control and C and copy that I'm going to say save and connect go to LED preferences and then just follow these same settings I'll just scroll through my settings so it's 256 uh, LEDs on that matrix yeah just make sure they match the same as these and then you can change and save these at any time but these are what work for me so then just click save go to the 2D configuration this is where you have to put your panel dimension so mine's 32 wide 8 tall and there's only one panel and then just put it like this top left vertical and then top left vertical make sure to click serpentine and then save that and then now when you click one of these I'll show in real time I'm gonna oh, you see there I've clicked that one I'm gonna change this to blink and now through my computer and through that IP address yeah we can change you know as well if you want a scrolling text you can come down to a scrolling text and then in this little box up the top here you can type whatever you want so and then you just click that little tick the check mark and then back to that screen you can see that's updated and it will just keep scrolling through that text yeah as well you can change the speed and everything that that text is scrolling and like I say there's hundreds to go through and you can actually do two effects at once by adding another segment and making them both go at once and then over here you can just change if you prefer one colour over another I'll quickly show in real time I'm just clicking through a few of them colours and then back to default default is the wheel at the top here so by moving that around we'll also change the colour okay so yeah it was just a fun little project that I wanted to share so thanks very much for watching and please like and subscribe and I will put out another video as soon as possible thank you